So you've shot your movie or your video and maybe it was inspired by the greatness that is hot fuzz like the intro to this video. But now it's time to take that footage and make it look great in post. And if you're shooting with log, Filmic Pro Log or Moment Log or any kind of log for that matter, then you're probably using LUTs. You may not realize that you can control the intensity of the LUTs you're using though. So today we'll look at that in Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. Okay, I'm in Premiere Pro and there are two ways to bring in LUTs within Premiere Pro. And I'm talking about into Lumetri Color, the main color correcting, color grading tool that's built into Premiere. Not talking about third party apps. So the first way is in the basic correction tab and using it as an input LUT. So you would browse for the LUT, pick the one you want, bring it in, and the LUT is applied. Now, the thing here though is you don't have as much control. Yes, you can go in and change the different color temperatures and all the different exposure and that kind of thing, sure. But you cannot adjust the intensity of the LUT and that can be really important. I do use input LUTs depending on what I'm shooting, but for this kind of footage, shooting Filmic Pro Log, I like to use a different method and that is going through the Creative tab. So in the Creative tab, you can also browse for the LUT you want, choose the one you want, but now you've got control over the intensity of the LUT. There's a slider underneath over here to the right side. You can control the strength or the intensity of the LUT. Remember, LUTs are not drag and drop. I mean, you can drag them and drop them on there, but more times than not, they have to be finessed. They're just a starting point. And so being able to control the intensity is really important. Typically you would start at 100, but then you can add more, you can add less. Oftentimes I find that less is better. But in this case, this is Filmic Pro Log version 2, 100 looks pretty good. Now I'm not going to grade the rest of the footage, this is just the starting point. But I suggest in Premiere Pro using the Creative tab to get started with LUTs. Okay, I'm in Final Cut Pro now, and it's the same story here. You can bring in LUTs a couple different ways. The first way, and it's like the input LUT in Premiere Pro, you go to the Info Inspector, and on the right side here, there's a Camera LUT. You can browse and choose the one you want. I'll bring in the D-Log. This is the LUT pack that we make, and it corrects log V2 to Rec 709, the standard look, and there it is. So again, I don't normally do it this way because you don't have quite as much control. So I'll turn that off. So show your effects, and then search for LUT. And there's the custom LUT effect. So now, go in and search for that LUT, and it's applied, but now, just like in Premiere, you have a way to control its intensity. Here it's called Mix. In Premiere Pro, you can actually add more. You can add more to the intensity. In Final Cut Pro, you're limited to 100%. Again, I'm not doing any further color correction here. I'm just talking about applying the LUT, the very first initial steps to the process. And doing it this way in Final Cut Pro gives you the most control. But regardless of which app you're using, the ability to control the intensity of the LUT is really important. So always keep that in mind. And in part two of this video, we'll look at how to do this in DaVinci Resolve and LumaFusion. And as a reminder, our LUT packs work with Filmic Pro Log version one and Log version two. And additionally, they work with Moment Log and Moment Flat. You would just apply the LUTs at different intensities as I was showing here. So if you're interested in our LUT packs, I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching guys. This is Blake Calhoun. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.